Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Office 365 Guide. This is the second part of Essential PowerShell for Office 365. In this episode, we will see how can we create dynamic security groups in Azure AD. Also, we will create a script for licensing report. So without further ado, let's begin. First of all, I will connect to Azure AD. Now, in the first uh, video, I was using uh, Visual Studio Code, but I feel that uh, for beginners, uh, they f might find it difficult to use uh, Visual Studio. So here, I'm using PowerShell ICE. Mm. All right, so I'm connected to my Azure AD tenant. So for creating a dynamic security group, I'll use a command called new dash Azure AD uh, MS, then group. I will give it a description. Let's say that uh, I want users of HR department in a particular group and uh, I will use a condition which says that the, if the department for that user says human resource then they should be added to this group. Now we will create that rule uh, right away but let me just go to uh, my users and uh, see some users you know properties so that you will get a better idea what I'm talking about. So I have this user Brad Colin and uh, his department have manually typed human resource and I have three to four other users as well for which I have mentioned human resource as their department. Now we will use this department property or attribute to add the users or to create our rule. So I'll say HR department, display name, let's say human resource department. The next should be whether I want this, this to be mailed enabled. No, I don't want this to mail enable, but I do want this to be security enabled so that I can put some permission on it. Next is mail nickname, which is a mandatory attribute. I will say HR department. Next is uh, membership membership rule. Uh, so here we will define the membership rule. Now it's pretty straightforward, but the main part is the uh, syntax. Okay, so just carefully look at the syntax. So I'll say user dot department if it contains human resource then just add those members okay so this is how the syntax looks like okay and you have to enter the membership rule in this manner sorry in this manner okay after membership rule this is the part this is the syntax so next uh, property is group types so I need to define whether it is a uh, static or a dynamic group I'm sorry assigned or a dynamic membership group so I'll say dynamic group or uh, dynamic membership is the correct uh, value next I want to define whether the rule processing state should be on so I need to turn this on let's run this okay so we see that a group has been created with the display name HR department let's go to our Azure AD and under groups let's uh, refresh I can see that HR department is created and the see the membership type which is dynamic. Let's open this and check a few members. Now 
no it's not coming as of now maybe it's not updated uh, let's check the rules so I have a rule user dot department contains open resource uh, now I have an option to validate this right uh, usually it takes some time uh, uh, to uh, for, for users to you know show in uh, the dynamic group when you create it so what we can do is we can validate the users so let's add a user which has this condition which will satisfy this condition basically so I'll choose Brad colon let's select okay so it says that it is in group all right but but it's not added yet because for dynamic groups it takes some time in the backend for members to appear now I can see that uh, my members have been synced properly so this is how you create a dynamic group in Azure AD next let's see how can we create a script for license reporting purposes alright let's start creating the licensing report I will hash uh, this command so that it doesn't execute when I run the script I'm already connected to Azure AD first I wanna get all the users in a variable so I will use get dash Azure AD users Azure AD user and I want all users so I'll say all then true next I would like to create uh, an array and uh, make it null as well so why I'm doing this is because uh, let's say I if I execute the script uh, repeatedly then this array will keep on adding things so when I rerun the script first it will it will make it null and then it will start storing the value so that is why I am doing this next I will create a loop for each users in the user variable I want the licensing SKU so I will say licenses because a user can have multiple licenses so the command for getting the SQA part is get dash Azure AD user license detail and uh, I will call the user by the object ID so I'll say user dot object ID okay now I'm interested in only the SKU part number alright so this satisfies my uh, condition next I want the licensing details or uh, to be precise I want the service plans inside the licenses so what I'll do is I'll have a condition where it will say if license is equal to null then I want the variable license to be printed as uh, unlicensed unlicensed or not licensed whatever you wanna call it you can call so basically what I'm doing here is if this particular variable is null it will check the condition here and it will make the variable as unlicensed so rather than uh, you know in the report of rather than getting this value as blank license value I will say unlicensed so that is the point of doing it next I would like to create plan is equal to user dot assign plans 
so uh, just to show you uh, if we you know just get one user or all the users in get dash azure ad user it will have a property called assign plans and i want to uh, take all the information from this assign plans which will contain the plans information so this will have the plans information this particular variable next i will run another loop which will say get the information from each plan and i want to store all this information in a ps custom object if you are not familiar with the ps custom object you can read it uh, read any article on the internet but just to give you a brief introduction ps custom object we use in scripting so that it can hold some value okay So I'll define my PS custom object. So it will have a name and a value uh, pair. In that way, it stores the information. Now I'm interested in users UPN, so I'll type UPN and uh, user dot. Let's say user principal name. Prince principal name okay next I want licenses uh, information and I'll get it by the SQA part number so I'll say uh, licenses will be equal to licenses and uh, then I would like to join it why I'm joining the uh, licenses is because uh, it could have multiple values and I want this uh, uh, licenses information to be joined with a semicolon or any or I can use any other symbol next I want the service status so basically which service is uh, there on the plan I will get it using this service option so I'll get plan dot service so plan dot service information will be stored in the this service object <coughs> next is I want to see the status of that service plan whether it is enabled disabled or deleted So there is a property called capability status in assigned plans. Okay. So for a uh, simple report, this information is fine, but you can obviously expand it for all the details that you want. So now I've in this uh, PS custom object, I will have all the information. Let me close the loop as well. Now once uh, I get all the information is this in this PS custom object I would like to store it in a array which I have defined here. So I will store all this in a array so I'll say report plus equal to and then service. Okay let me close this loop as well this one it's still open so let's close this one. Uh, if I want it, I can also you know export this report to a CSV. So I will say export uh, CSV. And uh, I also need to use what I need to export. So I'll say report and then I'll pipe it and pipe the information to a CSV. I'll give a path let's say D then uh, VS then license report dot CSV I will make it a no type information because I don't want other information with the CSV so this looks uh, good to me let me run this and let's check the output
okay it has been completed and it has seems like the license report we have got let me open that okay here it is I can see the size is 34 KB let's open it now all right okay so I can see my users here I can see whether the license is one part is missing here uh, the property that we defined for unlicensed the condition it's not coming let's check what the issue is with this script okay so I says if okay so here one s is missing so if license is equal to null because here it's a I have defined licenses and here I, I defined license so added another s it will make the variable as unlicensed and uh, licenses will be equal to this will be uh, here add another s here okay let me close this first so this uh, script will overwrite the information let's run it again alright so now I do see that so there was a typo I typed license in place of licenses so let us just understand what this means so here I have UPN for the users okay here we have licenses so the this AIP scanner user is unlicensed now you you might ask why this status says deleted for this particular unlicensed user the reason is because I ha might have enabled you know license before or this user was once licensed and the license may have got expired or or I you know I removed it manually so it says deleted so the license was removed and these services were deleted for the user okay so that's why uh, if you want you can filter it out as well uh, you know and do with Excel whatever you like okay let's come to a user which is licensed so I can see Brad C is a licensed user I can also see that he has two licenses one is flow free and another is uh, business premium license if you remember in our script we joined this operation right using a semicolon here so that's why in the script it's coming as semicolon now the we can see which service is enabled uh, let's say if I go to the Azure AD portal and disable one of the services let's say if I disable exchange from exchange uh, Azure AD portal you will see here disabled but as of now I have not disabled anything for any user so it's coming as it is okay so I hope that you were able to understand how to create a simple script with Azure AD or another any other module for that uh, matter if you have any questions drop drop it down in the comment section I will be happy to answer it if you haven't subscribed to my channel as well please do I have a lot more content coming up uh, all right and uh, I will see you in the next video with the exchange online PowerShell so thank you for joining me and have a nice day